that noise? Mommy! What is it, sweetie? I said, what was that noise? Nothing, sweetie. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie? Man, 11 years ago, that was the stuff of nightmares. Did you notice something? That is the first time I've seen that cutscene in so many years. They never wore seatbelts. I mean, I know they're in a rush, but they should be dead in that crash. They were wearing no, there was no seatbelts being worn in that cutscene. What the hell? <laughs> it's amazing that that is the first time I've seen that cutscene in such a long time. And I've only just noticed that now, but wow. Uh, anyway. Hello guys and gals of the internet, I am Simon Kios of YouTube, Twitch TV and Mixer.com. Welcome to the playthrough, yes you heard that right, the playthrough of Dead Rising 1 on the Xbox One console. This is the remastered version, although unfortunately as you probably saw in the cutscene, this is probably updating to textures and maybe little appointments to the graphics, but very much like Resident Evil 5. 
this game will probably show its age very quickly, and I'm not just talking about in the graphics. Now, I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> I do have a, a few experiences with the Dead Rising series. Um, my first experience was when I had this alongside my Xbox One for Christmas back in 2000, 2008. I booted it up, and I very quickly absolutely hated this game. I hated it. I hated the controls. I hated the AI. I, I just, I did not like this game. I really didn't. Um, my brother though, incidentally, my eldest brother actually loved it and he actually got quite far into the game, but he never beat it. And I, I'd never really played that game since that day. I, I was immediately turned off very quickly. I did not like this game. Dead Rising, to its credit though, is probably the last game that was truly difficult, you know? Uh, this was probably the last game that was one of those truly difficult games that people kind of loved so much. Uh, because, as you know, in this day and age, games are, I wouldn't want to say easier, but I guess more accessible in the way. Some of them, like Dark Souls, uh, and that are like brutally difficult when it's, that's a selling point. Uh, but generally games in this day and age are access more accessible, maybe a little bit easier to compensate for that. Um, so Dead Rising, apart from Dark Souls, I guess, uh, was one of the last, one of the last really difficult games before we moved into that era and then Dark Souls changed everything basically. But yeah, I hated this game. Um, not for the difficulty, just the controls and the, the AI, and, ugh, I just did not like it. Um, and I, I didn't really play the game since then, at all. And like I said, my oldest brother kind of did most of the game. Now, back in 2016, right at the end of 2016, uh, and sometime, I think, I mean, it was a month before or something, uh, there were remastered versions of Dead Rising 1 and Dead Rising 2. And they were on the PlayStation 4. There was also Dead Rising 2 off the record. I decided to do a stream through of Dead Rising at the end of 2016. Because Dead Rising is not as expansive as an open world as, say, Grand Theft Auto. But um, it's kind of it's kind of big. It's it's a long game. Uh, and I didn't really I wasn't really keen on doing a playthrough of this game. One, because I didn't really like it to begin with. And I thought I'd just rage the whole time. <laughs> and number two, because it's a little bit bigger and it'll probably take a bit longer. The reason I've decided to do this is because during that stream through, I actually learned of the two um, kind of tricks that you need to beat the game. Um, one of them is the chainsaw uh, trick, uh, where you beat the clown near the beginning of the game. And you actually get the chainsaw, and what you do is that you pick up a few books and that gives you almost like three chainsaws could pretty much take you to the rest of the game. Pretty much, that's pretty much how that worked. Um, the other trick is, again, after saving the clown, or saving the guy from the clown, I should say, he unlocks this kind of shortcut that takes you right through the middle plaza, like the, the big area outside the stall, uh, outside the, uh, the parts in the mall. Uh, that literally shortcuts that entire section. Now in that section, in the first night, is when the convicts show up with their fucking car and their huge gun. And considering I didn't know anything about the game at the time, I got wrecked by the car. And then, I got a little bit later into the game, got, was pinned down by a sniper and just got, I just got so frustrated and died. And I was like, no, I'm never playing this again. That, that sniping jewel that I had was pretty much the last time I played this game until 2016. Now that part is still difficult with the chainsaws unfortunately but it can be done. Um, so with that in mind and with it easier I'm going to try and play through this game and one of the reasons why I want to try and do this game is because I'm planning to do a Dead Rising marathon with this game, Dead Rising 2 and its expansions, Case Zero and Case West, um, Dead Rising 3 and Dead Rising 4. The entire Dead Rising series is on Xbox One. So, starting with this, it's going to be a bit of a Dead Rising marathon. Now, like I said, um, the reason I'm choosing the Xbox One version is because in that stream playthrough, I played the PS4 version. So, 
to have all the achievements pop up and everything, I decided to do this. But I prefer achievements to trophies, I always have. And Dead Rising was born on the Xbox 360. I think the first one did come out for the Wii, I think. Uh, but Dead Rising generally has been an Xbox 360 title for the most part, or at least a time exclusive. So it's that's the reason as well. Say, hey, buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. No explanation as to how that is. Like that? <laughs> they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, well, I'm freelance, freelance, pal. pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV, TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Hell yeah, Frank West. A classic in gaming that got absolutely destroyed apparently in Dead Rising 4. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population, Population 3,594. Standing characteristics. Jack shit. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. Pretty much. I've never been there myself, so I no. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. Yeah. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. So in this part of the game is really kind of to start your XP building. So kind of go crazy with the photos in, in the big sections if you can. You don't really have to take photos to beat the game, not really. Um, I remember my stream through, I didn't really take any at all. I think the only time you really take photos with your camera is one of the side missions, but I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna cover what I can, because... In terms of the side missions, I'm gonna cover what I can. In my stream through, I actually did rather well. Um, I saved about maybe 70% of the people or so. Is this what you came to take pictures of? Sure is. Damn. genre in that because you're gonna take a lot. Look at all those people. What the hell is happening here? I have no idea. But one thing's for sure. Whatever's going on down there. It's not business as usual in this time. Oh no. It's not.